I would have posted this video earlier, guys, but I was I was doing something. MI5 type stuff. I don't really want to talk about it. I mean, I was on a bit of a secret mission. Should I talk about it? It's a secret mission. I can't. I can't. Not sure I can really say. To do a secret mission. It's very difficult. When you're told yeah, to do a secret mission, it's a secret. You know what? I won't say anything. That there was secret mission. Yes, Joey's secret mission chat, which he blurted out yesterday, which never really seemed to conclude. You know, we never found out that it was actually on the terrace. None of that has actually come out yet. And last night at the end of the episode, he had that frustrating conversation with Josh in which Joey just spoke in riddles. Joey wouldn't tell him anything. And it, we could tell Josh was getting really quite vexed by the whole thing. So they'll probably lock horns at some point because there is a secret there. But we all know it's gonna come out in the grafties, I think. That's why perhaps they're holding back information because I feel like they're being told, don't see too much about it because an event's coming up where you're gonna have to talk about it more. So that's all I can assume. It was amusing and Joey is definitely a unique character, but it was also frustrating. Last night's entire episode was frustrating, but better than the last couple. It's been one of the better episodes of the week. So what does tonight's episode hold, guys? Let's have a look. Following an eventful day, Grace is keen to speak with Reuben about the comments he made during the notorious couple's challenge. As Reuben tries to lean in for a hug before she speaks, Grace shrugs it off, saying, I don't want a hug right now. She begins by saying, I feel like I'm actually quite pissed off by your comment in the challenge today. I'll be real, it was a little bit like you were trying to embarrass me and Harry. I feel like you should know better. She adds on him and Lola, you were stood there with your arm around her, stroking her waist. For me, that's disrespectful. With Grace airing her feelings, will the two be able to squash things? And is Reuben's head with Lola or Grace? Now, I did feel that some of Reuben's comments last night towards Harry and Grace were a bit out of order. He was a bit rude. And I thought, OK, but this is coming from the guy who when he first entered the villa, said, yeah, you know, I grew up with two women, I was raised by two women, I know how to treat a woman. And I thought, well, if you know how to treat a woman, then I wouldn't recommend being rude to women. Uh, rudeness, in my experience, never goes down well with women. And uh, I just feel like he was rude and unnecessary. And she's right, he did have his hand round Lola's waist, which seemed quite forward, if you ask me. Never a gentleman with his arms around a woman's waist this early on in the relationship? How dare you, sir? But anyway, I think they'll probably resolve it. I don't think Grace is into Harry, and I think she will eventually try and work her way back to Reuben. But Grace is yet another great survivor in the show, so we'll see. Josh and Mimi head out for their first date. Following the night's fallout whilst relaxing in the Mallorcan sun, Josh receives a text which reads, Josh and Mimi, it's time for you to go on your first date as a couple. Get ready to leave the villa. Hashtag market meet cute. Hashtag making memories. As the two excitedly head to get ready, Mimi reveals, I'm nervous. And Josh says, I need help with the drip, boys. As Sean jokes, do you need any sweet chat up lines for the big day? Sean, keep your mouth shut. No one wants to hear from you right now. Heading out of the villa, Josh and Mimi peruse an authentic Spanish market on the island, coming across a stall selling crochet teddy bears. Mimi says, I feel like it's only right for us to have our first Ted. That will be our first born. What have these guys been drinking? As the two pick out their favourite, they decide to name him Jomi, a mix between their two names. Not bad. Cheering to their beautiful first date of many what will Mimi have to say about her situation and how she's feeling? Plus, with Josh ready to take the next step in their Love Island journey, how will she react? Well, I think Mimi has learnt, now that she's been burnt by Joey and all the various accusations that have been flying her way, and after quite a difficult week for her in the villa, especially with the whole terrorist thing, she's probably learnt, you know what, Mimi? Stick with Josh, see how far you get, because you're in the final days of Love Island now. That's probably going to be her strategy. Now, I do think she's getting unnecessary flack for that terrorist incident. I really don't think she deserves the flack she's getting. As I said in my video yesterday, shot exclusively at a Sainsbury's supermarket, we've all done dumb things when we're in love, and I feel like she has an excuse to do a dumb thing when she's in love too. Absolutely fine. Yes, it was a bit embarrassing, but goodness me, 
I've done tons of embarrassing stuff. For example, this video. Love is in full bloom with a villa floral party. Later that day, Nicole receives a text which reads, Islanders, tonight love is in full bloom as you'll be having a pre-loved floral party. Hashtag eBay, hashtag flirt in floral. As the Islanders get ready, they don their best floral prints and head to the garden. But what will the night have in store? Well, here we go, guys. As always with Love Island, the Islanders should expect the unexpected. Aya receives a surprise text that evening which reads, can all the islanders gather round the fire pit immediately? Once seated, the text reads, Islanders, tonight will be the final recoupling where the boys will choose which girl they want to couple up with. As the girls line up, the power is in the boys' hands as they make their final choice. So here we go, guys. We're in that final stretch now because I think the final of Love Island is going to be on Monday the 28th, is it? Is that a Monday? I can't remember, but it's going to be the final Monday in July. So we're getting very close. So who do you think is going to couple up with who? So it's the final stand for Mimi and Io, isn't it? Because Io is going to get to pick. And Io's, I think, going to pick Jess S. Pretty sure. I don't think he's going to pick Mimi and do anything sudden. And of course, if Josh gets to pick before Io, he will of course pick Mimi. I don't think he's going to go for Grace. I don't think so. We'll see. Looks like it could be a really interesting finale, but what are they going to show us tonight? Are they actually going to show us all of it, or are they going to split it and we'll come back to it on Sunday? You know, they often do that and it's quite frustrating, I think. But there we are, guys. So it looks like we'll have a dramatic ending to tonight's episode, which is good. Josh and Mimi going out on a date, yep, that should be good too. It's been a long time since we saw them, uh, well, we haven't seen them out on a date together, but as long as we saw Mimi out on a date, her last one was with Io, wasn't it, out on the boat. So that'll be an interesting one. The floral party, don't care. Grace and Reuben, don't really care much about that couple either. Uh, it, they're interesting, but perhaps not as captivating as some of the others. And yes, of course, Kieran and Nicole, Sean and Matilda, they're motoring away to the final. You know, nothing's going to stop them, I think, being in the final four. Anyway, that's just my opinion, guys. What do you reckon? What's going to happen? Who you think is going to couple up with who? And let us enjoy tonight's episode in the absolute burning heat we're experiencing today. It's not just hot in Love Island, is it? It's hot here. <laughs> I should have thought of a better way to end that video.